We're here. Here is the World Champion Garage, right? World Champion Garage. Look at my hair, do huh? Huh? We, we're still in business. We're we ain't going nowhere. Nowhere, that's right. <laughs> Today we just got back from lunch, so our brains are not fully functioning because all the blood is down in the stomach, right? Yes, right. <laughs> so we're gonna give you a guided to you of what Clay has been up to since you kinda have an idea what goes goes on, what my car was going on. So now we're gonna have Clay give you a rundown here of what's happening here we're gonna try this. we're gonna try we're gonna try all right <laughs> okay clay we're rolling we rolling yeah okay everybody thought that peter had put me underneath some rocks <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i found my way from under the rocks <laughs> under the rocks and i've been doing a little bit of work on the 1980 450 sel body I've been working on the body. You want to show us that? What okay, you doing? Just come on up here. Uh, yeah. Let's you guide us here. We're rolling. Oops. Oh, be let's careful. turn some light on so we might be able to see. A little bit better. Oh, we got a pretty good picture here. We got a pretty good. I uh, This was the... We'll probably turned it off on one side now. Uh -oh. This there is not go. rehearsed. If you remember this, this was the car which we got we built pretty much last year to get it to run. And that was the car where the previous owner had the uh, fire damage the fire. because the uh, fuel system went caught fire on there, the old fuel hoses. Tell us what you're doing there. And here we had, from the fire, we had all this paint was, had burnt the yeah, heat. I think we can still see the outline here, right? Yeah, this yeah. is actually the, the uh, body filler that I put on there just to put as a as a coating before I, I sanded it all down and then I put the body filler on it. Now I'm sanding it back down to get it all smooth. This is primer. I put a little coat of primer on it so it won't go rust on me for right oh, now. Right. I had a dent right here. Right in here we had a dent right there. So instead of me knocking the dent out I just put a little body filler on it, to fill All it right. in. This is this area here. This right? area yeah. right here. So you're gonna get this all smooth. I'm gonna get it all smooth. Yeah. Do some more sanding on it. Put some you more primer see, on it. Can see the dust yeah. here from the sanding. There's dust everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. But I I dip and dab a little bit with the body work. Yeah. I like to do that. The car is running fine, starting fine. Everything is good. Our heat is working. Um, the only thing we have not fixed yet is this air conditioning, the compressor. We probably need to replace all of the O-rings on this, the same what I did on my car, and charge it. We had a small leak when we vacuum tested it, yeah. and that leak was too big um, to be able to use the um, O-ring seal, this uh, restore, that spray you can insert into the system. So in this case, we have to do the same thing. What we did on my car was to replace all the O-rings and then leak test it again and then see if we can charge her up. Then he got his AC working on here as well. And we got to do some suspension work, work on it. Yeah, that Once still has, that. but he changed the tires out, yeah. right? We had the old tires, which the car came oh, with. Oh, that car now. Yeah, okay. And then you have them barked on the rear seat. Yeah. I'm going to do some work on this okay. on the rear seat. I got the back out. Yeah. We haven't adjusted the door handle here. We didn't do this one yeah. yet. Look, there is a way to adjust these here. And I showed it them because this issue we had was on the front door too. This is a, a real typical problem on these 116ers that you pull, but it, it won't do it. And the way you do it is there's two... Set screws, uh, where were the set screws? In here, right? Yeah, they're, they're right in here. And so when you, I don't want to take this off here, but you can just readjust it when the thing starts to grab. And then when you got it correctly, and it just takes a little pull rather than this here. So we still have to adjust this one here. He hasn't done this yet. He hasn't done all of his homework yet. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> I did this one. To show them how that is done, but uh, well, as they say, is the teacher will appear when the student is ready, right? <laughs> See, it's hard for me to keep my mind 
on one thing. Yeah. I'm so anxious to get this thing going. So I yeah. jump around from the seats to the body. Let, let's open it again and take a look at this back seat here. Did you put it back together or what did you do with it? I just put this, I took this out. I had yep. this out and I, I kind of tacked it up and put it back together. But then I decided I'm just going to go ahead and order new seat covers all the way. Since I, I went all the way with the body, I mean, with the with the running of it, with, you know, all the work that we did on the engine, I say, why pinch the seats together? Just go ahead and get the new seats like I'm going to do. And then once I get it right, I have it car painted, original color, have the seats already done, got it running good. And then the car might be worth a few dollars. That's right, and then you got the car you actually wanted to begin with, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is the progress. Otherwise, internally, I don't know if we have shown a lot of videos. The car in itself is in a good shape. We cleaned most of it, uh, Clay cleaned most of it up. And he installed a new radio, which is working fine. And I finally got an original key. Yeah, oh, we got the original key now. Another key made. Yeah. If I can find it. Uh, because that black part, the plastic part, broke off of the original one, and that makes it very difficult to um, get the key uh, turned, no? When you start it. Yeah, look at this here. Well, that is a brand new key, the way it is supposed to be. And this is the company who made it? Yes. Does it work? It works. Well, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we got this no exactly if it was going to work yeah these keys cost 15 dollars a piece so what he told me he said i was going to get two of them he said i tell you what just go ahead and take that key for free he said if it works just come back and let me know okay i haven't had time to get back to let him know it works <laughs> but i will and i'm going to pay him the 15 dollars okay and it starts right up yeah just like that and yeah, this was our first stop today, yeah? Yeah, first start in about yeah. two weeks. And we have no smoke or anything coming out in the back. Nothing. Just a little bit normal. This is good. First start in two yeah. weeks. The first start in two weeks. So we did a good job with this whole thing. Transmission is working fine. Transmission is working yeah. fine. We can Brakes uh, working fine. We got all of this basically done. Um, for the cruise control, we need a new cable that goes from the regulator unit to the, uh, the throttle body housing, right? Yeah. yeah that yeah. cable is broke out, so we have to get a new one for that. And then it is just to get the O-rings restored on the air conditioning system. And that pretty much concludes everything on this car besides the cleaning and, and body work, what we have here. With and, the paint, uh, yeah, the suspension stuff, and then we gotta fix the antenna for the radio. We're yeah. doing pretty good, and now we're gonna. You wanna turn off? And this is the other one he got. And you got this one. You wanna tell us the story of this 450? Uh, the story on this car it comes from Arizona. This was. This is a 79, right? 78. 78. 78. Yeah, I think I got to go in this way. So I'm not going to hold the camera into the sun. Okay. This is hard to see anything in the first place, okay? Okay, this car doesn't have any rust on it. No rust. No rust. Arizona car. This was Arizona the car, car which was running yep. when I met him. Yeah, it was running. <coughs> and that car in there doesn't have any rust either. Yeah. Neither one of these cars have any rust. Yeah, so we're in a good shape here with that. And on this car here, when we got the other one started, his, the one he actually wanted is 1980. Yeah. We drove over to son's house when we first had it started. You can see the videos and I would think um, the alternator went out and we ran out of that little bit of fuel we had at the tank all at the same time, same time. within like three minutes of each other. Yeah. And then I got it started and I got it back to the garage. So what we winded up doing is we stole the alternator of this car with the regulator 
and we put it because this one was working here that's now in this car and then we stole the um yeah. uh the valve here, the idle valve because the one which one we had on this one here was sticky it was still moving but it was uh, sticky it wasn't moving as freely so we took the valve of this one and put it on this one and we took this valve and put it in here otherwise everything here is still the same as it was originally right it's still yeah. the same yeah and this car doesn't have any heat right that no was heat. the one we this one we haven't gotten yet to uh to fixing the heat on it but um yeah and then now we're figuring out or clay is trying to figure out if he wants to keep the car or want, if, I, if I he wants to sell it to, i had plans to keep it but you see i changed the bumpers i put the european bumpers on it which was a headache i put a lot of work into this car you know yeah but I would sell it to some. If somebody want to buy it, they can get in touch with me and Peter. Yeah. At World Champion Garage, and we guarantee this car is in. This really car good. actually will start up when we put a battery in it, but it will not charge the battery because of the alternator at the moment, and that valve is working, but it is sticky, and uh, the fuel system, this and the distributor, fuel distributor, have not been rebuilt. The warm up regulator or the fuel distributor is still working, but we wouldn't know for how long because we haven't done anything to it. And we have not changed to check the timing chain on this here or the timing chain guides, basically. And we have not checked the oil tubes on this we have, because this was running and we were focusing on this one. So we didn't do any of this stuff to this car yet. Right. This gives you just a short rundown. Everything else, is in working condition on this car. And uh, the system here, the pump probably needs to be reworked that it is starting to run again. The water pump and then the switchover valve, the regulating valve unit has to be probably worked on as well. And I know some of those hoses are not even hooked up. Nope. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, there's it's, one it's missing, I can see it. Yeah. yeah, that is so, this is not fully uh, incorporated. They have basically taken that out. Yeah, you won't get any heat without those two hoses right. on there. So that is part of the issue. They shortened the uh, the circuit on this and they basically just bridged the back on it from one side to another. This usually goes in there and then it comes back, it goes in the other side of the engine to the pump. So this gives you an idea on this one here. So this is right now a parts car, which is not as too, too good for a parts car. Yeah. The uh, ignition system is completely working on this here. It has the correct Bosch uh, uh, spark plug wires in there, complete set. And the ignition unit here is also working quite well. So there's that is all functioning as it is supposed to. And so is the oil pressure line going to the oil pressure indicator. You can see this. These things here are still pliable. The rubber parts are pretty good. Uh, so someone took very well care of this car and it probably was garage too. The inside looks like this here and we got ah, 126,000. Let me see if I can zoom in. This should be again because of the sun. The sun is reflecting. 123, 617. That's what that is reading. Yeah, now you can see it. Otherwise, then this, everything is in a, in a pretty decent shape. Except for the back seat. And the windshield. The windshield got a crack. That is about it. And uh, we want at least, uh, I would say 55,000 for it. That is US dollars. Yeah, 5, that is, no, 55,000. Okay, 55,000? That's your car. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the rear seat looks like at here. No, we're just kidding. I think, what are you asking for it? Eight grand? Yes. Yeah. So about eight grand, that's what we're asking for it. Immaculate body, suspension is good. Uh, other than these two issues, there's nothing to it, and it is just taking out the room here in the driveway. And of course, this is my car. This is his truck, his Chevy truck, which has already, what year is your Chevy truck? 2014. 
2014 and he got all the lights coming on in the dashboard like on Christmas, yeah. <laughs> like Christmas lights. So we're kind of out of space here. Um, and this one here, he wants to let go of. I said, he may want to keep it. He says, nah, I need the room here, right? He's taking up room, just yeah. taking up room. Yeah, well, we want to, that's basically it. What we got to report here. Now you got the full rundown. And there really hasn't been anything we have been doing which was worthwhile making a video. Right. Which you probably don't know already on how to fix or probably can make it even or do better than we can. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that is always the thing. And with that, we both are saying goodbye. And see oh. you next time. Yeah, we see you next time.